Welcome to R.E.D. Red. It's Michelle Barone, and I am so excited to be here with the lovely, the incredible Lily Brooks O'Brien. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. You look gorgeous. I love the purple. Love your outfit. You took the time, girl. Oh, yes, of course. I'm always... I just I love fashion and I love purple so this was like my this is always like my go-to outfit I'm oh. like I love this pantsuit I love it and I noticed the St. Jude's pin yes, of course I I'm originally from Memphis Tennessee and I'm a youth ambassador for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital I've had a few friends who were treated there and um who they've done in incredible work for some people that I grew up with and um I've just ever since I started my platform and um just I, I immediately knew that supporting St. Jude and, and raising awareness for St. Jude and the incredible things that they that they do on a daily basis for kids all around the world was something that I really wanted to hone in on. Um, I, I'm actually, I'm September is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month and um, I started a team for the St. Jude Walk Run. It's called Team Young Hollywood and I have a bunch of friends um, from you know, Hollywood and all that and, and even New York on Broadway and stuff that are helping me out to raise money for St. Jude this year. Oh, that's incredible. You're so sweet. Oh, thank you. I love that. And St. Jude's is an incredible organization. I've worked with them in the past as well, and they're incredible. The whole, the whole entire organization is wonderful, and what they do, right, yeah. is just groundbreaking um, and life-changing. Yeah. So back to you, Lily. I know there's so much to talk about, from a Broadway star to the young and the restless to making your own music. What don't you do? You are amazing. You are so sweet. <laughs> Thank you very much. I love every single second of it. Um, I'm the kind of person I like to always be on the go, and I have so many passions and so many things that I'm so interested in. So I'm so incredibly blessed that I get to be able to do everything, every one of those things that I'm passionate about every day. Absolutely. Tell me about your experience on Broadway. I know you've done so much, so let's talk about it and how you, you know you got started yeah of course so I grew up in Memphis Tennessee which is not you know very booming with like <laughs> Broadway things and all of that so I started when I was about five years old I was doing a bunch of like community theater and things like that and um, I really like kind of pulled my mom into it she was like I don't know how to do this stuff <laughs> and um, I was like you know what I want to like I want to go to New York and I want to like try to audition for something and New and Matilda was a dream dream role of mine so I was like I'm gonna go audition for Matilda I auditioned for like a year straight, kept getting called back, kept getting called back, and they were like, you're too young, you're too little, whatever. The moment I turned nine, they were like, okay, you're good to go now, and they sent me into like the final callbacks, and I did the, they have like a five day long audition, like the final audition process, and um, I just remember getting so excited, and like my hopes were like so high, and I remember just being in New York was such a dream come true, and it's it's a big city, and I was only eight years old, at the, or nine years old at the time, so I was like, oh my gosh, this is such, the, this is the dream. Um, so I remember I finished the audition process, and I was in like the final five, and I got the call the next day, and um, I was over the moon excited um and it was just honestly such a dream come true like being on broadway and getting to play the lead role in matilda was like mind-blowing for me i was like i can't believe i get to do this this little girl from memphis tennessee who just has dreamed of doing theater and dreamed of acting and performing and ever since i could talk i was singing and performing in my living room and in my kitchen um just like seeing taylor swift songs for my mom and my brother would like dance and it was so cute but I've just always been a performer, so I um, I was so grateful to get to do that on a professional level and start that, at, especially at such a young age. Yeah, so nine years old yes. on Broadway. That's incredible. Lead role in Matilda. Um, I want to know what that was like on the day to day, and how many years did you do it for? Of course. So I did it for for only one year. They since the Matildas are so young, they only have them do it for a year so that they can get back can get back to normal life and do school and all that fun stuff so um, we rehearsed for two months and uh, it was a very rigorous um, rehearsal process we rehearsed every single day for 10 hours wow. um, even on holidays like Halloween and Thanksgiving and stuff we were still re rehearsing and working and my mom came with me to New York and it was me and two other little girls playing Matilda we switched off because um, it's such a such a difficult role to take on as a nine-year-old you know let alone for eight shows a week. Did you guys um, look very similar and could you sound, did you sound the same? I feel like we all had our differences, which is one of the reasons why I love that they do three, three or four different Matildas for each production is I love that you're kind of like, okay, what, what Matilda am I going to get tonight? It's kind of like Taylor Swift surprise songs. Yeah. It's like, it's like, I never know what I'm going to get tonight. Yeah. Um, and you know, because every girl is unique and incredible in their own way. And I, I really love that um, because we each get to bring different 
qualities to the character and different um, storylines and different like backstories in our heads of like what Matilda is like. Um, but yeah, no, we were all, I, I loved every single one of the girls playing Matilda. I've, it's always so fun for me to get to watch the show and be like, okay, how is, how is this girl going to bring a different type of um, like different qualities to the character and it's always so exciting and a really fun roller coaster that they get to bring you on. Oh, that's so amazing. I will say that the show is huge. You did an amazing job and um, I'm really excited that you got to fulfill one dream at nine and you're doing so much more. Thank you. So now on The Young and the Restless, right? I love that. One of my favorite soap operas ever. Um, and you have a reoccurring role. I do, yes. I play Lucy Romilotti. She is Daniel Romilotti Jr.'s daughter. It's a, The whole family tree is kind of Convoluted kind of crazy. crazy and complicated. <laughs> um, but Danny Romilotti, he's like the rock star in the show. He's my grandfather. And then Phyllis, who's kind of like the villain in the show, she's also my grandmother. Um, I came into the show, I mean, they've been going for 50 years, so I'm kind of late to the game. <laughs> but... Um, everyone was so kind and welcoming and you know I was a little nervous it's you know they they're all such a tight-knit family because they're working every single day um an episode comes out every single day so they're filming an entire episode every day so ev everyone's on set all the time um and they really are such an intertwined family and I was really nervous but they they welcomed me with open arms and I've been so incredibly grateful to get to be a part of the family and I just I love every second of it oh that's so amazing positive attitude you're radiating glowing and um, so do you film every day or you're just going back and forth and are you filming in New York? So we film in Los Angeles. I live I live in Los Angeles right now. I'm in New York for um, Fashion Week yes. and also for um, I, I have endometriosis, um, which is something that I'm very, very open about. And um, I think that it's so important to share and make sure that people are aware that that's something that so many women go through without even knowing. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm having surgery for that this week. Um, so I'm kind of here for, for fun work and for um, medical stuff, but um, I'll be okay. I'll be good. I'm very excited that I, and I'm very grateful that I have found a doctor and a, and a surgeon who's able to help me. Um, so I'm here for that this week, but we film in Los Angeles and um, it's, I, I film pretty much, like I would say every week or every other week. Um, it kind of just depends on where my storyline is going, but I, I have a feeling that Lucy will be back a lot more often very <laughs> soon. Um, me and my mom on the show, um, her character's name is he Heather, but her real name is Vale. Um, we are moving back to Genoa City because my character lives in Portugal, oh, cool. um, which is really yeah. crazy. And every time that she comes back onto the show, she's like coming from Portugal to <laughs> Genoa City. And I'm like, huh, that must be a really expensive flight ticket, <laughs> right? Um, so they're moving back, which um, I'm, I'm hoping that we'll see a lot more of Lucy Ramalotti very, very soon. Very, very cool. And thank you for being open about endometriosis. I know it's extremely painful and it's something that uh, it could be detrimental, but you're taking it on. You're amazing and yeah. so positive. I just think I think it's so important for, for women all around the world to know about it because it's something that I had and I didn't know for a while. And I, I was brave enough and I, and I was I got I worked up the enough courage to stand up for myself and be like you know what this isn't normal I had so many people be like that's just normal it's what every woman goes through and I was um, I was very very persistent and would not take no for an answer and I was very very determined to get to the bottom of exactly what was wrong and um, I know that a lot of women don't have the um, don't have the um, Courage or support? Or support. That, that's, the, that's the right word. They don't have the support in their life. My mom was by my step every single step, every single step of the way. I, I would not have been able to go through this without her by my side. I was, it, it has been a struggle, um, but I am so grateful for everyone in my life who has been there every single step of the way. And um, to any women out there who might be going through endometriosis, just know that you are not alone. There are so many people out there who know exactly what you're going through, and um, it's you will get through this. I know it seems, it, it's so difficult. I mean, you're going through things and people are like, oh no, that's just normal. And you get told all the time that you're just being dramatic or anything like that. Um, but just know that your pain is real and um, find someone and force people to believe you. Um, it's just, it's very important. Yeah. Oh, that is incredible. And you know, such an inspiration. You're such a, such a young woman <laughs> and have done so much and so accomplished <laughs> and you're so lighthearted and spirited. And I'm so glad that we had a chance to meet and that we had an opportunity to do this together. No. You have transitioned into the world of music from Broadway and from, from film and TV, and I just can't wait to hear what you have coming up. What, tell us about your new EP, Too Good To Be True. 
Yes, of course. So my new EP, Two Gay Be True, just came out. I am um, so excited to finally have released my first EP. I feel, I've only been doing music for, I think, a, not even a year now. Um, I, I've always wanted to write music. It's always been something that I've been very interested in, but I've just never really had the courage. It's really scary. Um, because you're really sharing those like personal and deep emotions that like come straight from your heart and um I've always been too nervous to do it but I've always like written lyrics down in my my notebook and um finally just decided you know what I'm gonna work up the courage and um actually produce a song and uh release it and I I was like you know what and then it just it's addicting you're like oh I can't I can't stop now I, I'm gonna write music every single day of my life now um so I'm just constantly writing and I'm I, I kind of like put together these this story with the the songs that I chose to put on the EP and um, the first four songs are about my first heartbreak oh. which I went through um, over a little a little bit more than a year ago my year and a half now um, and I, he is missing out by the way <laughs> um, I was like I, I was really heartbroken I was like you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna write music and I, I kind of just I took all of my emotions and I, I took that pain and that heartbreak and I turned it into something beautiful uh -huh. and I that's kind of what I try to do with every one of my songs is I take emotions like pain or anger or heartbreak or sadness and I put it into something that I can look back on and be proud of and be happy to listen to and and hear about instead of something that makes me sad or um, feel heartbroken and too good to be true sounds just like that story that we once knew, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> so tell me about that and uh, how you put the song together. Of course. So too good to be true is the title track on my EP. Um, too good to be true. I I didn't. I, all of the, the first four songs were you know very heartbroken and very painful and sad and like all of those true honest and honest feelings and I wanted to. The goal that I wanted to reach with this EP is even though all of that heartbreak and sadness is real and it's something that so many girls go through and honestly pretty much every girl um you can come out of it on the other side with something more exciting and more beautiful and um just with with hope and i met um i met a different guy and i just i, wrote, I came home after that night and i was like i was feeling super hopeful and excited and i was like you know what i'm so nervous that this is too good to be true and i was so nervous that it wasn't going to be what i had hoped it would be so i wrote this song about that th th those feelings and that's exactly what too good to be true is oh i love that and so many people can relate to that male female and any gender truly exactly. can relate to those feelings of it being too good to be true but i'm so excited for you that's amazing thank you i appreciate it. i love the song so much and it's, it's actually one of my favorites but i i've been writing so much music and i feel like every song that i write i'm getting better so i i'm always, I'm, I'm a perfectionist so i'm always like i'll release something and i'll be like i can do better than that and then I'll just write more and more and more and I'll release the songs, but then I'll be like, you know, I can do better. So then I, I'm constantly writing more so that I can prove to people that, hey, that was good, but let me show you what else I got. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. So where can people find your new release, Too Good To Be True? Of course, it's Lily Brooks O'Brien on all music streaming platforms. So go check out my new EP, Too Good To Be True. Oh, so excited for you, Lily. And uh, I think we should play it. What do you think? I agree. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it.
All the action, but all you saw was me I feel the world disappear Your hand in mine and I lose all my fear Holding on to this feeling Don't It's one of my favorites, and I, I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Oh, my God. It's so relatable. I, I just can't get over the relatability. You know, everybody can feel something yeah. that they knew from that song. So thank you for sharing that with us. You. you know, family's important when you're going down this musical road, and you said your mom's been a great inspiration. Who else has inspired you? My mom is my number one inspiration of, of all things. Um, she's such a hard worker and um, every single day my mom inspires me to be better and to work harder because um, I've never seen someone work harder than my mom does. And I, I wish she was in, in here in this room to hear that hear that right now, but she's outside doing work, um, which just proves my point. Anyway, um, my, but musical inspiration, um, I have to say right now, Sabrina Carpenter. I mm. feel like her music is so honest and real and raw and um, everyone can relate to what she's saying and even if it's not in a relationship sense like you can feel every word that she's saying in some in some relatability kind of way um, and I that's kind of what I aspire to do with all of my music is to make people feel something um, through what I'm saying and through through my words and my music um, but another huge inspiration for me would be Taylor Swift I mean oh, of course I grew her. up listening to her I mean her her debut album I, I think she released it the year I was born, but I remember my mom was listening to it a lot. And I, she, she tells me all the time, she was like, you came out of the womb listening to Taylor Swift. <laughs> and I was like, exactly. <laughs> um, so I've, I've followed her journey through country music, through pop music, through um, her, new, her newer stuff, which I love so much. And I just think her journey has been so inspiring and so incredible. And I look up to her, at, not, a, not only as a musician, but also as a person. Oh, absolutely. She is one incredible woman, just so accomplished and so smart. Yeah very hard working too I mean she spends three three and a half hours on that stage during tour I mean I really aspire to be able to do that one day <laughs> absolutely in those bright lights you go girl <laughs> um, and you know a lot of people like to get to know the artist what's something you like to do in your spare time oh I love this question okay this is something that I don't know if a lot of people know about me but I love doing trekkies really I know. It's kind of shocking. Like, I don't look like the kind of person that would do something like that. But on Santa Monica Pier um, in Los Angeles, there's a trapeze school um, called the Trapeze School of New York slash Los Angeles. There's one in New York, too. So if, you, if any of you guys in New York want to try it, um, it's, it, it's incredible. Such a life changing experience. Um, um, but, but wait, wait, wait. Hold on. So you actually go up there with the rope and you fly around and everything else? Yeah, so, you, so basically, like, you're harnessed and you have, like, a harness around you and they, like, rope you in. And um, you basically do, you go like flying through the air on a trapeze bar <laughs> and you do tricks. Um, so I've been doing that for the last two years. It's not something that I like would ever do professionally, but I think that's what I love so much about it is that I get to kind of take a break from, you know, making sure that I do things perfectly um, and I can just have fun and Be feel you. free and just like 
take my time learning things and who knows that maybe you'll be with pink one day doing the trapeze exactly. you know i'm gonna put this out into the world like the one of the things that i hope that that can come can come of that one day is i'd love to play spider gwen Ooh, in, all right in the live action spider verse movies oh my god and i feel like trapeze could help me like, oh, like god, yeah. the air like you know uh, anyway i think so for sure all right we can make this happen I put it out so. into the universe Manifesting it. yeah that's it that's right <laughs> So what's one thing that you want the world to know about you and something like inspirational? Oh, this is, a, I am a very determined person. I'm the kind of person where if I set my mind to something, I'm going to do it. No matter what it takes, I will get that thing done. Um, something I told my mom the other day is like, if someone tells me I can't do something, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> like, I, if you, like the moment you're like, the moment someone says, okay, no, 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 you're, you're not gonna do that. I'm gonna be like, Okay, bet. Yeah. And then give me like three months and I, I will get whatever goal that that was done. It, a good example of this was um, I told my writing partner, Ethan, he writes a lot of my songs with me. Um, I was like, you know what? By the end of this year, we're going to play the Troubadour. And he was like, that's effing crazy, Lily. Like, you, you're nuts. Yeah. And I was like, okay, bet. Three months later, we're playing the Troubadour. See? And I just played the Troubadour, um, which is crazy. And I. Congratulations! I, I, I told Ethan when we were done, I was like, see? I told you we could do it. And he was like, you were right. And then the, just the other day, he, I told him, I was like, we're going to be on tour opening for one of our favorite artists um, by next year. And he was like, yeah, right. I was like, bet, give me a few months. And I, I'm, I'm putting that into the universe right yes. now. That's my next goal is to go on tour. Yep. And she's working for it. You can see the determination in her eyes and the dedication. You got the total package, girlfriend. Good Thank luck. Thank you. And, um, you know, right? A word of inspiration, make it happen, right? Exactly. That is, that's my biggest word. Like, uh, inspiration is never give up. Make, make, make it happen. Do what you have to do to, to get your goals done and, and to be there. The biggest thing that you can do is just work hard and never, ever give up. Don't, don't care what other people are saying about you or what they think about what you're trying to do. Or I had so many people be like, you're crazy to want to be an actor. That's not a real job. And I was like, it is, and I worked hard, and I can prove them. I can prove them wrong now. Good for you. That is amazing and so inspirational. Yeah. And you're just getting started. Oh, so you're so sweet. <laughs> Thank you very much. So where can people find "Too Good to Be True," the song on your new EP, the title track? Where can people find it and you? Of course. So my name is Lily Brooks O'Brien, and that's where you can look me up on all music streaming platforms as well as on all social media platforms. Um, and my EP is called Too Good to Be True. It's um, just look it up on any music streaming platform and you'll be able to find it. I hope you guys enjoy the songs. I'm so excited for you all to hear them. Make sure you check her out. She's amazing. And just so much more to come from Lily Brooks O'Brien. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Michelle Barone Red. We'll see you next time.